Hello everyone and peace, peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together today. Um, you know, as usual, Muhammadan always they try to fabricate stories and they try to fabricate the meaning of the Bible. And today is an example and we will show you how silly their argument and how long it lived. <clears throat> you know, when we talk about the versions in Islam, the Muslims, they say to you, oh, the Bible, your Bible promised you versions in heaven. First of all, Abdul, the one who posts this uh, post, uh, you're an idiot like your prophet, for those our versions will go to heaven, not they will be in heaven. And those are not women. They are women and men, and the word virgins mean pure. Those are from the tribes of Israel, and they died already a long time ago. And you are a stupid like your prophet. The word virgin in the Bible mentioned many times, but none of it is about sexuality. It's about those who they are, pure and wait for God. If we go in the book of Revelation, and this is where he is quoting this verse from, and this is why you should not ever trust a Muslim. I saw some comment who they are naive, they do not know really what the Bible meant. Those are about people who they are going to be from the tribes of Israel. Those are people who they are pure. <clears throat> the version here is not the same as the version in Islam they are waiting for you each time you sleep with them, Allah will make them uh, version again after sex. Those are men and women who they were true believers and they will be taken to heaven. And they are from the 12 tribes of Israel. And you can read the verses and you can read the interpretation. So obviously the Muslim failure and the Muslims, the, the, everything, everything they read, the same as their prophet, they are because of the corruption of this cult. They try to corrupt the meaning of everything in order to make it fit with their own propaganda and their own agenda. I find it disgusting, but at the same time I say thank you Lord, that Muslims try to defend their religion only by lying. For that make it easier for those who they are seeking questions to find out that those are cannot be following the true God. Because people who they are following the true God, they will not lie in order to prove anything. That's not from God. You do not need to be a genius like to, to find out that this is cannot be a, a, a religion of God, godly people. <clears throat> you can go right now to the book of Revelation and read the holy chapter. This is about people who will be taken to heaven and those are men and women from the tribe of Israel. If you remember in the book of uh, Matthew, uh, you know, we have an example. Uh, the, the, the Lord, the Messiah, always speak in parable. Uh, what does that mean? It means he tell you a story so you might understand easy and he used parable for this story. Here you will see the Messiah speaking about virgins who they are waiting for the master, waiting in the middle of the night. Those virgins are not girls. Those virgins are every one of us, who, those who believe. Some of us, they have oil in their lamp. Some of them, they don't have oil in their lamp. Oil present uh, uh, your fruits, your faith. So some, they say, okay, I became a Christian. And then I will be saved. Doesn't matter what who I am, uh, you know. Which means he's faithful by name. He, he know he 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 practiced nothing. He learned nothing. He helped nothing. Uh, he brought no one to Christ, etc. So all his life he is just a person who eat and drink, and he would maybe a cross in his neck. So there is person who have oil in their lamp, and there is virgins who have no oil in their lamp. This is all of us. Some of us have oil, which mean their fruits, because the Messiah, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And the fruit, the necessity of the fruit is not because the fruit will save you, but the fruit is going to identify you. This is why, how he identify you. He said, from their fruit, you shall know them. So the fruit is the proof of faith. Faith without proof of fruit, the Bible says, is dead faith. So the lamp will be full but with oil. And there's a lamp have no oil, which means there's no light in it. So the one who have oil in their lamps, they will be taken to heaven. Afterward come also other versions. Actually, let us hear the verses together, you know, 
by by sound better than me just explaining and then we can you know to just to make it simple for all of us all right and here you see how the muslims they always fabricate and there is no dignity like their prophet matthew 25 then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom and five of them were wise and five were foolish they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept and at midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom cometh go ye out to meet him then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish said unto the wise give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out but the wise answered saying not so lest there be not enough for us and you but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves and while they went to buy the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut afterward came also the other virgin saying lord lord open to us but he answered and said verily i say unto you i know you not watch therefore for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the son of man cometh for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods and unto one he gave five talents to another two and to another one to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents and likewise he that had received two he also gained other two but he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his lord's money after a long time the lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents saying lord thou deliverest unto me five talents behold i have gained beside them five talents more his lord said unto him well done thou good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make thee ruler over many things enter thou into the joy of thy lord he also that had received two talents came and said lord thou deliverest unto me two talents behold i have gained two other talents beside them his lord said unto him well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make thee ruler over many things enter thou into the joy of thy lord then he which had received the one talent came and said lord i knew thee that thou art an hard man reaping where thou hast not sown and gathering where thou hast not strawed and i was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo there thou hast that is thine his lord answered and said unto him thou wicked and slothful servant thou knewest that i reap where i sowed not and gather where i have not strawed thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then in my coming i should have received mine own with usury take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which hath ten talents for unto every one that hath shall be given and he shall have abundance but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath i mean to that amazing i mean if you if you read the quran the stupid book of muhammad about the uh, little boys who they are white like pearls and the virgins with their private part described nobody touch it nobody have intercourse with it and you compare this forgive me lord for saying compare this to this but just to show the people how stupid islam is and how stupid those who try to make the versions mentioned in the bible is the same about the versions and the quran which is nothing but six toys here as you see it's about those who they invest and wait for god this is about men and women who they are pure waiting for their savior the messiah the christ so the one who have oil in their lamps they are going to be saved and those who have no oil in their lamps they will go to hell and that is muhammad <clears throat> and if you follow muhammad you have no oil and you have no lamp actually not only you don't have the oil at least those have a lamp you don't have anything you are following a child molester a killer a criminal so this is how the muslim they just they, they, they always try to destroy 
the meaning of verses in the Bible. This is why we cannot trust any Muslim who say anything about those, right? Uh, right? <clears throat> Let us see here. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. According to the Catholic spouse of the Spirit, well, uh, Mr. Uh, Abba Shu Shu, you know, yeah, I think you are stupid. There's nothing here. It's called according to the Catholic and according to the Protestant. This is Bible. It's parable, and we knew they are talking about who. And Christians, uh, Protestant, Orthodox, Catholic, they have the same inter interpretation for this. You are an idiot. Don't come here again. And this is a great example how people they start even come, you know, it's even from those who claim to be Christians, maybe. They try to give you false information. Never trust anyone for what he say. Get, go check it out. Don't learn your belief if you are a Christian from somebody posting something in YouTube, even from me. Go and check it out. The Bible is there. Books of interpretation are there. Some made by the Catholics, some made by Protestants, some made by Orthodox, and you will find that those people, they are lying. <clears throat> Do you understand the advice? Never take an interpretation from someone else, even from the trustworthy. So how about taking it from a pagan Mohammedan who kissed the black stone, who has God to promise you little boys? If your God is good, will not promise you little boys in heaven, for this is a child abuse and this is unjust. Little boys not to be your children, little boys to serve you forever according to Muslims, but yet the Quran says they will never bleed. And they are so white, for Allah is a person who is white supremacist, he hate people of color. The women are so white, the children are so white, and the Muslim will be so white in heaven. And then when we speak about the version of Islam, Muslim Muhammadan, they fabricate saying, Oh, Jesus will give you versions. You liar. In the book of Revelation, those are not version will be given to anyone. <clears throat> those are men and women. They will be saved from this earth. But again, we say, thank you, Lord, for those fabricators. For if they don't fabricate and make lies, we will not give our attention for their lies and refute them and teach the Christians in the same time. So look what happened. They posted a lie supposedly to fight us and to defeat us. But by posting the light, they defeated themselves and they show everybody that they are a bunch of liars and they have no dignity when they say or they make a statement. Who is going to respect a person after now? He says to you, Jesus, he gave you uh, versions. Who is going to respect a follower of Muhammad who lie about the Bible and they lie about their Quran? When ISIS they kill, they say ISIS are not Muslims. Why? Because you're ashamed of ISIS, right? But ISIS did nothing compared to Muhammad. Is Muhammad a Muslim? Muhammad, he raped women two parts by tying them to two different camels. Her name is Umm Qurfa, and this is written in your books. Muhammad, he killed the man, he tortured him, seeking his money. Tell me where you had your money, and he's a, he was a Jewish man. Muhammad he raped, Muhammad he kidnapped, Muhammad he asked for ransom, Muhammad he sent and assassinate an old men, some of them over the age of 80 or, or 100. This is your prophet. Muhammad is the one who promised you women with big breast in the Quran. And then you try to switch it and you put it on us? Do you see the deception? They always, they fabricate and they switch what is on them and put it on others. Actually, I saw, uh, let me see here. Uh, here we go. This is another example of the Muslim propaganda full of lies. The Muslim fighter brother, before he kill, he pray to God. The Christian fighter, when he kill, he don't pray to God. The Christian fighter brother, he is filthy. 
when he's, he, he go for war, his wife, she is sleeping around. Uh, uh, Abdul, let me tell you, do you know that Muhammad, when he went for war, but he never, he never go for war, really. His wife, Aisha, she was accused to be a whore. Do you know, Abdul, that your prophet, he says to his son, wife, my heart is flipping for you. And the wife, she like it. My friend, do you know that when the Bahanu Tamar, he came to the prophet and he told him, that I have a woman, she came to my store and I did with her everything the man do except intercourse. Muhammad, he said, maybe her husband, he was doing jihad. <laughs> and he told him it's okay to play with her. This is in your religion, my friend. In your religion, it's okay for Nabhanu Tamar to play with the wife of this guy when he is doing jihad. And he told him, he gave him a verse from the Quran saying, Illa lamam. It's a small fault. So if you go and touch this woman, the wife of this guy, kiss her, play with her private part, as long as you don't intercourse, you don't do intercourse, this is lamam. So I hope that your wife, she is enjoying, enjoying all the lamam of the neighborhood because it's a small fault according to the Quran. And this guy, the one you accuse him that he is the bad, he don't pray. You know, okay, you Muslims, you pray a lot, right? But you pray to do what? To kill. You pray to slaughter. Actually, here he says, he pray for every soul he take. Can you believe it? He pray for every soul he take. Why? He say, Allahu Akbar. That's, that's not the prayer for the soul, you idiot. That's a prayer to kill the soul. So you are praising criminals. And always they make those pictures supposedly that the Christians are bad, the Christians are etc. Uh, you know, and there is other one where uh, there is two women uh, waiting in the front of the stairs. And uh, one of them, a brother, uh, where is the picture? Let me see. Uh, look like. Let us see here. I want to show you the example of this stupid cult. Uh, look like I lost it. Uh. Anyway, they, supposedly there is two uh, two women. One she is wearing burqa, and the other one she is wearing um, jeans. And the one supposedly is wearing jeans, she will go to hell, brother, because the one is wearing burqa is the virgins. And my friend, number one product sold in the Middle East is virgin again, made in China, where a woman she insert a case. Of fake blood inside her private part during the marriage night so the stupid husband he would think she was a virgin number one surgery in the Middle East for virginity where the doctors make a surgery for the skin inside her private part to make her virgin again that is your Middle East my friend and I came from there a Muslim woman she cannot walk in the street without being molested harassed by a million person that is in your countries. This is why she needs a guardian. Have you ever heard of a religion except Islam? Women need a guardian. Why she needs a guardian? Because Muslims are very decent. If a woman she walk alone in the street, go right now and search for sexual harassment in Egypt. You will find 10,000 men following one or two girls. You believe it? She needs a guardian. Guardian from who? From who? You're a prophet himself when a woman she walk in the front of him, he stare at her. A strange woman. And then he go to his wife. And he do what? He do boom boom with his wife. And when he come back, he told them the woman she come in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil. Your mother, my friend. According to Muhammad, she is the devil. What is her fault? Because she have a nice ass and your prophet could not stop himself from looking. Read carefully. This is the story about your filthy prophet. The one who is sitting in the front of his door to look at the ass of every woman she walked by. And the funny they say this is the book of marriage. The book of what? Of marriage. Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Hadith. 
Jabir reported that Allah Messenger saw a woman. So what? Saw a woman. So what? A woman. Okay. And so he came to his wife Zainab, and she was tanning leather and had sexual intercourse with her. Okay. What happened here? The Prophet, he saw a woman. What does this have to do with having sex with his wife? He saw a woman. He keeps staring at her, at her bum, until he gets so excited. And now this beast, who have no self-respect, you see how good, godly man he is? His wife, she is doing leather tanning. Do you know what does that mean? That means she have color in her hands. She have boiling water. She is sweaty. She is working hard. And now it is, it is his time for this mule to jump on her. Do you see it? And then when he came back to give excuse that he is not the devil, it was the women. He says the women advances and retires in the shape of the devil. That is your mother, supposedly. But the guy who got horny, it is him. The woman, she did nothing. She was not wearing a bikini. She's a Muslim woman. Unless she used to wear a bikini in the time of Muhammad and short skirt. Maybe she had nice jeans. Maybe the bra. So the Muhammadan always, they try to put what is on them, they put it on you. No dignity. No honesty. This is your prophet. The Messiah, he says, if your eye deceive you, if your eye will take you to hell, take it away. Take it away. Your prophet is the one who says, if a Muslim man and a Muslim woman, they like to have sex for three days, three night, eh, go ahead. Be my guest. Do boom, boom for three days, three night. If you like to increase, increase, brother. That is your religion, my friend, not my religion. Jesus, he made it so hard for the Christians to get divorced. Why? Because he didn't want us to use and abuse women. It was for the benefit of the women. For men, the women, he married her a few years like Muhammad. And like Muhammad, what he did with Sauda. You know what he did with Sauda? Sauda, she got older. Muhammad, he stopped going to her, her bedroom no more. So that she heard that Muhammad, he will, he will not divorce her. So she made Aisha the, the favorite sex toy of Muhammad, who Muhammad described her as a dish. Imagine dish. <laughs> How insulting. He said she is like a thareed compared to other dish. Thareed is like, you know, let us say, uh, let's say rice, uh, rice with sugar, when you say like rice with sugar or milk or etc. So it is kind of food which is supposedly is very good, full of nice uh, flavor and meat, etc. So this is his favorite dish. All women are dishes for him. It's your prophet who have nothing in his head except sex. Is it your prophet who said that when you go to heaven, you will be doing dahman dahman, which means you will push your private part inside the women harsh harsh? Is that me saying that? It's in front of you, and this is your Islamic website. Nikah huh? al-mu'mina azwajahum. The Muslim, they say nikah, mean what? Mean marriage, right? Well, how you are going, how, they, it says a Muslim doing nikah to his wife. She's his wife already. So what do what, what, what nikah mean? You see how we expose their lies? They say nikah mean marriage. It says in the title, nikah, the believers to their wives. If nikah mean marriage, that will not make sense. They are their wives already. So nikah is to do the F word. So nikah al mu'mina azwajahum fi jannah. The, the F word for their wives in the heaven. They will F them. Okay, what, what, what it says? Dhakarun la yamul wa shahwatun la tanqata' Dahman dahman. A penis will never sleep. A desire will never stop, and you will be pushing hard, hard. Is that true? Yes. Rawahu ibn Hayyan fi Sahihi, Hadith number. It's mentioned in the book of Ibn Hayyan in his Sahih, Hadith number seven four zero two. And Abi Hurairah, uh, the father of the cats, uh, that the Prophet said 
that in the heaven in the Jannah, huh? He said, "Are we going to jump in women in heaven?" Anata. Imagine even the word anata. Are we going to step and jump on women? Look how rude. Look how filthy this cult is. Anata, nata. In Arabic, you say nata when we go and step in the top of something else. So the Muhammadan, they don't even say we want to have a sexual intercourse. Another, are we going to step on them, which means jump on them like, like the cow jump, the male cow jump in the female cow? The Prophet, he says, Naam. Uh, yes, by the one who is my, my soul in his hand, swearing by Allah. Imagine, imagine he mentioned Allah to prove he swear by Allah to talk about penis. And he said, Dahman, Dahman. And when he stand up from her, she will become again a virgin. And if you don't believe, I can take this the same page and I put it in Google translation and we can get the translation for this. I mean, I'm reading for you in Arabic, no problem, but we have a solution. Even Google is not a good translation, but it's okay. You know, still we can use it. I will do Google translation in front of your eyes. Huh. You see, guys, you see, you see, guys, look at this. Look, look at the Google translation. You see what I told you about Nikah? They say the translation Google because this one Muslim says Nikah, I mean Mary. The believers marry their husbands. <laughs> Actually, it's about the wives here, not the husband. So they marry their husband. They are married. So what do you mean they marry their husbands? <laughs> At Tabari, is it is it true, brother? It says that uh, the uh, uh, you know was asked to marry the people of paradise. No, he didn't say marry. Not uh, it's to to do boom boom to them. He said yes, and he said by the one who is my soul in his hand, you know, like, I mean the translation is horrible. Uh, yeah, the translation is is horrible. He could not uh, get the translation correct. You see here, yes, and my uh, the one who has his soul in my in his hand, my soul in his hand. Dahman <laughs> Dahma. Google could not translate it, you know. Uh, and uh, you uh, here in the top where it says, yeah, the translation is totally destroyed, you know. Yeah. So and this is Sahih. This is Sahih. Do you see it? At least we we were able to get the the word Sahih there. So when the Muslims they try to give us something about the religion or they compare the religion to us. Not only they fail, we laugh at what they say. No dignity, no honesty. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me and get me busted? If there is any Muslim would like to call me and get me busted, I don't have too much time because I'm going to speak to a Muslim family. I have the wife. Uh, the only one did not leave Islam yet is the wife. The husband, the children, there are two daughters who they are studying in university. They left Islam and we have the wife. So after I finish and I think they are listening to me and actually I hope and we pray that the wives today will leave Islam. <clears throat> so we will have a nice meeting with nice Muslim family. Actually we can say Muslim family no more because you know the majority of them except the wife she is not a Muslim, she is not, not a Christian yet and I hope by the end of the conversation today um, she will accept Christ and she will leave the cult of Muhammad any Muslim would like to call me so I can go on Skype any Muslim who is a Muslim would like to call me and refute me about the topic what we just said I will log in for five minutes. If a Muslim call, he is more, more than welcome. <clears throat> All right.
Someone saying to me, be careful about saying the word for uh, our men and women. Muslims are using it against you. Revelation 14, this are which we are not defied for with women. They are uh, for the are versions are which follow. Uh, yeah, my friend, no, it's men and women f for very simple reason. Here, this is not about sexuality. This is about being pure. This is not about uh sex and do you think god he will take only men the one who is saying you know saying so those are really this 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 verse it's very clear read the whole chapter revelation can we can put it in the clear in the in the screen in front of us you know and you can read take your time those about people they will be taken to heaven They are not defied with women, for they are virgins, right? The women here, you see, uh, 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 people, they, they, talk, they take always uh, uh, meaning in a literate way. Why? Uh, because this is how the appearance. The virginity, we just showed you uh, in, in the book of Matthew, the virginity is about you being with God or against God, ready for God or not ready for God. So those who they are not def defied with men, which means they did not lose virginity by associating with the bad men, with living the bad life. So he, this is a parable. This is not literally. This is a book of Revelation, my friend. Revelation use uh, a description of animals, horses. All of this is symbolic. You see, the Bible says in the Old Testament that the earth committed fornication. But do the earth commit fornication? Do the earth sleep with men? Do the earth sleep with women? No. Fornication is you doing, breaking the command against God. That is a fornication. The word adultery in the Bible, you can go right now and do a little search in Google. You will find that the word adultery mentioned in many places in the Bible and in many places came as meaning have nothing to do with sexuality but for us when we speak about adultery right away we come to the conclusion that it's about sex and here the versions have nothing to do with sex because based on your understanding of the one who tried to make it as he, he understand anyone who did not sleep with women he will go to heaven but that's not true that's not what the verse is saying right this is about people who they are virgins in their act, in their belief, in their life. Not about a person who never had sex. Right? Because actually, when somebody says this is about a, a person who don't have sex, that this is that's mean you are shallow. Because so what if you don't have sex? Doesn't make him good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So either you you see when you want to read the Bible, you have to go high in spirit don't go down to the belt and down the belt and down will think about it physically the one who have a brain of the belt and down he will think about it physically this is all spiritual all right there is dashi you want to call well he can uh, text me uh, text me dashi and i will call you back my friend Actually, we have a missed call from Muslim. Let us see. <clears throat> but anyway, thank you for the one who made the comment. So the Muslims will not be able to play with it. You know, again, this is not about virgins from sex. This is about people who they are chosen for they choose God. Let us say the best quality of the tribes of Israel. Muslim, he, he, he called. Hello? 
Hello? Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Hi, CP. How are you? I'm fine. How you doing? Thank you, Lord. I'm doing, I'm doing great. What, uh, CP, I want to ask you one question. It's kinda, actually, it's very weird to me. Sorry. Okay, are you almost there, my friend? No, 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 really, no. I convert to Christian. I haven't converted to Christian, but I already actually I walk away from the Muslim right. Islam. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Uh, hello. Yes, Can I hear you. Hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. The, the my question is why Muslim people, if you convert to if you actually be an atheist or. For them, as very normal rather than convert to Christianity. When you say, "Okay, actually, I convert to Christianity," or "I want to convert to Christianity," they really hate you and they don't like it, and they really it's like a, something very weird. I just don't understand why they are very upset when you are actually following a Christ. That's not really a problem. I mean, it's very normal for for somebody who worship a pagan god. Uh, to be angry from somebody leaving them because you are telling them in the same time your God is a pagan God He's a stupid. I'm not going to follow him. Bye. Bye. So for him It's an insult to him when you say I'm leaving this cult because you are telling him you are following a cult So he take it as an offense or offensive against him Because I had a friend actually uh, I, I live in UK. I had a friend uh, who used to actually be a very close friend and he knew actually I'm already I walk away from the Islam, but uh, uh, and last time I saw him, I, I told him actually I'm trying to convert to Christianity, and from that day he never spoke to me. Yeah, very normal, because so, the who cares? Quran tell them take not Christian and Jews as a friend. You are an apostate, you are an enemy of Allah. Actually, you are, for them, you are worse than a Christian. <clears throat> That's right. It's just very, very weird. Yeah. Uh, one more thing, I just, uh, I seen uh, actually a video on uh, Facebook, it's been published. The video is showing the Hindu man. Uh, he's actually washing his face uh, by the, the the cow urine. He's using a cow urine mm. washing his face. And the, on a video, there was a, actually a script was saying, just say uh, if you are Muslim, just say Alhamdulillah. How what can I actually? Uh, I mean, religion my friend, and, uh, it's a silly. It's a religion you have. It's a, they it's a silly. They actually, they drink in a camel urine and they do whatever the Hindu do to the cow. They, they do the worst, actually. My friend, my friend, it, it doesn't matter who do. <laughs> doesn't matter who do this. The the Hindu or the Muslim. This is silly behavior. You know, washing your face with the cow uh, piss or drinking the cow piss or the camel piss. Secondly, the Muslims they they drink the camel piss, not the cow. And here the question: Why not the cow? What the difference? It's stupid, right? So it's the camel piss, not the cow piss. So uh, uh, when a Muslim he try to uh, to say, uh, well, we are better. We don't wash our face with the piss of the cow, but they wish they wash their face with the piss of Muhammad. You know? Yes, I think they did already. Uh, no, they did. The, 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 the hadith. If you read my books, there's tons of reference about the Muslims fighting over uh, his 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 uh, the, even his laundry water. Even his piss, even you know, yes. the, the, uh, a woman, a woman, she drank the piss of Muhammad, and Muhammad he told her after she drank it, fire will not touch you, would mean hellfire. All right. So my friend, I, 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 I'm trying to take Muslims to call me, so I will, you know, I will apologize from you. Let us see if we can find. Oh, okay, okay. I won't take. I, I think that guy actually was a psychopath. I, that's all. I, I, you all know. Right. All right. I, I think it's true. He was a psychopath. All right. Thank you, my friend. No worries. No worries. Nice to talk to you. Yes. Thank you. Lord. If any Muslim you want me to want to talk, please feel free. All right, this is your time. You see, we said Muslims call because we want Muslims to hear them. And uh, if you notice, guys, with me here in uh, uh, in the Bible, you you will see that those who did never step with the virgins, uh, with the step with women, women, sorry, and they are virgins. It says here. And their mouth was found no guilt for they are without fault therefore the the throne of God you know so what they found with no guilt that's why they are called virgins so virginity is about many things virginity is about an action you do all kind of action it can be about sex but it's about not to have guilt 
in the front of God. So somebody might say, well, those are men. You know, even if it's men, it doesn't matter really. But for me, I believe that those are men and women from the tribe of Israel because there is no way God, he will take only men. He will not take women. What about the women? There's no good women. The Old Testament mentioned Bibles who even consider as judges and as prophets. So not even one of them deserve to be from the 144,000. So, uh, you know, the Bible is a very spiritual book. When you read it, you have to be careful. But either way, if it's all men or, uh, uh, or men and women, as you see, this is not about sex. Sex slaves will be sent to heaven, as Muslims he said in their, in their post. Those about good people who they have no guilt against God. And this is why they will go to heaven. Right? And the verses in front of us are so clear. Do we have any Muslim? Stranger, wanna call me? My friend, you have to text me so I can call you. If you don't text me, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I don't see anyone. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Oh, here we go. I got somebody here. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. You hear me? Do you hear me? Hello? Okay, give me a second, please. Give me a second. I guess we lost him. <clears throat> Let us call again. Hello? Yes, my friend, we hear you. Go ahead. You hear me now? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, but can you speak louder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you help? How about now? My connection it's good. Okay. Now. It's okay. Better now? Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. You know, I just, I just want to say thank, I just want to thank you very much here for your work. And obviously, I spoke to you about a year ago. We're back back to when I was a Muslim. Oh, okay. So you called me a yeah, year just, ago, just, and you were... I just want to call it a quick message to say thank you very much and keep on doing a good job. But what happened? Uh, you called me as a Muslim. What happened when you left? No, before um, obviously before I used to, I I used to go to speakers' corner, debate Christians without knowing the truth about Muhammad and all of that. But also when I did my research, I got to know the truth. I'm thinking, is this really the man that I was supposed to worship? You know, so I did my research, start reading the Bible, knowing the truth about the Bible, and I realized that this is the truth, but Jesus is the truth. I mean to that. So since since how long you left Islam, my friend? Um, maybe 11 months now. All right. So when you called me last time, basically. when you called me last time, did you leave Islam uh, life on air with me or after? Uh, no, that time, no, I didn't leave on, on air, no. but I was like having doubts, but I was I did my research. Us debating people and everything, but slowly, slowly, I, I was going to church and I know the truth here that okay. Jesus is the truth. Like, and there was a person in the uh, Bible, it just shows that uh, after, he's there, after, that was real. After you spoke to me in the phone, did you go to speaker corner and said, Yesterday I called Christian Prince and I refuted him? What you what you said after talking to me? No, no, when I went after when I spoke to you, but I, when I went to speaker's corner, I, I didn't debate it after that. I was just listening to people, okay, just listening to people and everything. And I noticed that. When I ask Muslim questions about Muhammad, they don't want to tell me the truth. Those like say, oh, he's this and that. They don't tell me like, the truth. So obviously I have to do research myself. Mm, okay. When I find out the truth about Muhammad, I'm thinking, was this the man I was defending? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, then, uh, you know. Uh, then, the, yeah, so the, 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 I, I find out the truth that this is, Muhammad is, he's not a prophet. He doesn't sound like a prophet to me. It sounds like, some man from the red light district okay let me let me ask you yes muhammad is from the red yeah. line district actually he's the founder of it but he found it in different in, in earth and heaven like you have two location headquarter let, let me ask plus you plus in heaven yeah. but heaven allah's heaven thinking 
what kind of heaven that 72 virgins and all that they don't sound like a heaven to me yeah uh, what what is the main reason like made you decide to leave islam what, like what happened what is the what was the main point well one of them is the life of muhammad and you know what he did by aisha and his son's ex-wife or something like that he took her mm. all of those stuff yeah, but you know, um, I'm, I don't know. And for me, I feel sorry for you because now you will not get the version in heaven. I mean, are you ready for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you will be lonely, my friend. Don't you like to have 72 at least women? They are transparent. You, see, you can see the marrow of their bones. They are, oh, you know. That's too much for me. I won't be able to handle it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, no, Allah will give you enough power. Remember, He will give you like energy. You know, He will give you. <laughs> He will, he will give you a, he will give you a nuke uh, private part you know like zzz, never stop like you know even you can't take a break you, you will be yeah, I heard a pan is unlimited yeah you will be sexual ad addicted to boom boom you will never be able even to stop no, to take sound, a break sound like a bad heaven they don't sound like a good heaven uh, exactly so you will be addicted to sex you are not even have a choice to do or not to do. <laughs> oh, no, <I> don't. <laughs> and not only that actually no, if you have like if you if you have my book sex and Allah you will see that uh, uh, there is an angel will be behind you each time you uh, like you know you do too much sex with one woman uh, he the angel he will wrap in your uh, in your shoulder he will say next because because the, because the one be, be in, 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 like in the front of you is just being smoked already the smoke is coming from there so the angel he will say oh to you God. brother what they believe. yeah the brother take the th second woman brother they are there is many brother you know so the angel oh he will God. be standing next in your back in your shoulder i feel sorry for them i hope one day they all be saved just like how i was saved yeah. I hope they will they, they come to the truth one day. I hope so. Because mm -hmm. I always tell them, yeah, we Christians now, we don't hate you. We just want to save you. We, we, we want to come to the truth. Yeah. What you can I say. I always tell them, yeah, I'm not against you. I just want to save you guys. Come to the truth. Come to Jesus. Jesus is, is the truth. You know, and I, it's the Bible. I, Jesus I, I, is the truth. Like, they always ask me, oh, how did Jesus say he's God? I said, it is. I said, the, the messages are there. Like, I and the Father are one. And if you go to Genesis at the beginning, just at the beginning, it said how, let's make man on our own image. Us, who is us? Obviously, it's not an angel. Jesus with the beginning. He's from the beginning to the end. Yeah. You see, I'm trying to help you. And I will, I will play as a Muslim now. I will say to you, brother, can you look at the screen? Um, I'm on my phone. I can't look at the screen. Okay, hang up and look at the screen so you can see what you are missing. This is how Muhammad described women in heaven. <laughs> so if you don't know what you are missing my friend you need to think twice come back to islam my friend yeah. for islam the only oh, one no, can I give you i would never this. go back i would no, never go back you don't no, want to come islam back are you sure false. i would never go back you don't want to have a woman transparent you can see the marrow of their bones which is no, very no, no, sexy no, no. no i'm happy being a christian I well i don't know i have my neighbor islam. i have my neighbor he have a dog when he see those bones he go crazy so i don't know why you don't oh like it you know <laughs> anyway so thank you very much, my friend, for calling. But anyway, I just want to thank you very much. I'm sorry to take your time. Keep doing the good job, and I hope you will save many Muslims soon. We hope so. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, hopefully they'll come to the truth. Thank Jesus you. is Lord. I mean to that. Thank you. Cheers. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Okay. We want Muslims. Where is the Muslims? All right. Where is the Muslims? <clears throat> uh, 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 someone saying to me, read further in the book of Revelation. My friend, the book of Revelation is a symbolic book. No matter how farther you go. All right. The book of Revelation is a symbolic book. Everything in the Bible is symbolic. You know, when you see the lamp, is, is our God is a lamp? Is, God, is our God is a shepherd? Is our God really son of man? This is the Bible, my friend. One of the most amazing thing about the Bible that God humbled himself, not only physically, he come to us in a physical shape of a human being, he humbled himself even when he talked to me, so he make it simple. So the reason for speaking in parable, so you might understand, for God, if you speak in the wisdom he have, you cannot comprehend. 
So he speaks to you in the language you understand. He used the word versions, but it's not about versions. He used the word sheep, but none of us is a sheep. He used the word son of man, but Jesus is not a son of any man. So either you understand from the beginning that when you are reading the Bible, you are reading a book of high spirituality speaking to you in parable, or you don't read it at all. So the naive ones is the one who think that this is about really physically on, you know, virginity is, it's, it's about physically too, because you commit sin, that's what make you not a virgin anyway. But virginity is not only about sex. Isn't it Jesus says that, you know, if your eye will take you to hell, take it off from what? From using it, looking to wish something is not yours, that you lost your virginity. So there's many people, they are, you know, they, they, they try to understand the Bible the same as Muslims they do. They take the word in literate way. That's not what you do with the, with the gospel. All right. This is a book of high wisdom. Uh, you, you notice we just mentioned to you the book of Matthew. What lamp? God, he need lamps to know you? No. God need oil to find out who you are? No. Those are versions in the, in the book of Matthew or this is all of us. Are they really females? Yeah, because it says here female. It says even there's a there's they are they are waiting for a, a bridegroom. I mean, what? How clear we want more? But the bridegroom is here really a bridegroom. So when you read the Bible, never take it literate unless it is literate. Like Jesus and the cross, that's literate. They put nails in his hand. That's literate. Do you understand? The virginity in the Bible mentioned many times all over, and all of us, all of it, it's about people who they are ready, and God is going to take them to Him. Virginity is about sex, it's about sin, it's about your mouth, as the other verse says. Their mouth never involved with something of guilt. That's why they are virgins, not only their sexual organs. They never slept with women. What women here? The women here is not about female you sleep with. You see, when you read, when you read in, the, in the Old Testament, that uh, it says that the sons of God slept with the daughter of men. Daughter of men, sons of God. So if you take it in literate way, uh, that will take you a different direction. Son, the women, the daughter of men, or the, the female of those men, those are the non-believers. The other ones are the believers. This is why they are called the sons of God. Otherwise, none of us is son of God. When the Bible call you a child of God, are you a child of God literally? No. Are you son of God literally? No. Only, there's only one person, his name is the Messiah, is the only begotten son of God. So either you understand the Bible as a full, or you are missing a lot of understanding of everything. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? I have many people texting me, but I don't see uh, well, all the Christians. Where are the Muslims? What happened? Are we short of Muslims? Can a Christian say Bismil ilahi rahman rahim Al ilah is different from Allah, have nothing to do with the word Allah. And why you want to say it in Arabic? However, this is not an Arabic word. Rahman or Homo or Hima is, uh, uh, is an Assyrian, sorry, it's an Aramaic word, a prayer. The Christian they used to pray long before Islam. Rahman or Rahim, this is not an Islamic. This is a Christian prayer in Aramaic. 
all right everything muhammad he have is a th is a theft muhammad he stole the word ar-rahman from a guy exists in his time his name is musaylama musaylama he stole it from the aramaic if you remember let us go And I hope those family, they are going to wait for me because I promised them not to stay long. Hold on. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. Let us go there. Muhammad suddenly, he never before used almost more than half of his time as a prophet is gone. He never used the word Rahman ever before. So what happened? How Muhammad suddenly? Is talking about a Rahman. Read carefully. Chapter 17, verse number 110. When Muhammad for the first time he started using the word Rahman, was long after he announced himself as a prophet. And you need to ask yourself if this was mentioned for the first time here so this is how it exists it is now in the top of or in the beginning of every verse in the quran or chapter in the quran except at tawbah so look the arab they say to him what who is a rahman your god his name is a rahman is that a new god muhammad answered them says say call upon allah or call upon a rahman by whatever name ye call upon him all the most beautiful names belong to Allah. Do you see it? Do you see it? Muhammad the thief, he received a letter from the guy who claimed to be a prophet, like him. At that time, there's many people who claimed to be messengers of Allah. And he is he is one of them, a fraud. So he his name is Rahmanul Yamama. He called himself Rahmanul Yamama. Muhammad, he liked the name. The guy, he sent him a letter and he wrote back to him. Imagine in the same letter, he wrote back to him, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So the Arab, they said to him, who is ar-Rahman? Do you have a new God now? The only Rahman we knew is Rahman al-Yamama. The Rahman of Yamama, the other, the other prophet. Muhammad, he answered them because they got him busted. He steal the name from, from that guy saying, oh, I call him Allah, or I call him Rahman, it doesn't matter, all the beautiful names belong to Allah. So what is the beautiful names belong to Allah? What does that mean? Susu? Can we call Allah Susu? You know what I mean? You see how the thief is? And if you read the interpretation, you will see they agree that the Arab, they say to him, who is Rahman al -Yamama? Who is this guy? I mean, who is this Rahman, God, Rahman? You, you worship now two gods? And you know, just to show you that we are not making things up, uh, let us do it. Again, remember, this is chapter 17, verse 110. We will open their Muslim website. Read the interpretation made by the Muhammadan. And you will see, this is what it says. Read carefully. The prophet would often say, Oh God, the compassion one. So they said, Oh Muhammad, uh, forbid us from worshiping more than one God. And then yet he called another God by a Rahman. All right. But this is, cannot be true. 
for this is the first time Muhammad he mentioned this name. If you go to the book of Asbab al-Nuzul, there's a book, it's called The Reason for the Verses to Come Down. Let us see. Jalalain. This is Asbab al-Nuzul. Read carefully. And now he is calling, Allah always he used to say, the beneficent, the merciful. He never said Ar-Rahman. And now, now, you see guys the word now, and now he is calling into two gods, Allah and Ar-Rahman. We do not know anyone by the name of the Rahman except the Rahman of Yamama. Do you see it? <laughs> so why Muhammad did never, never say in the Quran before Rahman? How come the word Rahman did not appear? How come they never heard it before? Why now? He liked the name. He added to the, the chain. And suddenly this name became very important to the point each time Muhammad is saying, Allah, he added Rahman next to it. But the only Rahman is Rahman al Yamama. Here they translate the word Rahman as beneficent. Of Yamama. Who is the Rahman of Yamama? The guy from Yamama. He is Musaylama. They call him the liar to insult him. But the fact Muhammad is a liar too. Both of them they are liars. Did I answer you? Do we have any. Uh, any Muslim want to say anything? You know, I, I find it funny when uh, somebody in the text, he says to me, calm down, calm down. Anyone admins, anyone, he say the word calm down, CP, give him time out first time, he say it again, block him. What calm down? Do you see me jumping? Either you are stupid or you are, I don't know what's wrong with you. Calm down. You see, people who have no passionate for Lord, they see that those who speak about the Lord are not coming down. We are the ones coming down because we love the Lord. We are, in, we are enjoying talking about it. Are you calm down? Sleep, go sleep, snore, watch cartoon while you are here. Calm down. Listen to music, it's called a uh, uh, little bit of Jessica and little bit of Monica, like Muhammad. Calm down. What calm down? Why do you see me jumping, pulling my hair? What's wrong with you? Do you like me to sleep like this? Blazers and sisters. Today we are going to teach you how to calm down. I want you to count with me from 99 to 0. 99. 99. 99. Uh, sir, it's you're stuck with 99. Idiot. This is how I can teach you to calm down. Stuck with it. 99, 99, 99. Okay, now we are calm down. Thank you very much for the advice. We go back to business. So the only name Muhammad he knew is Allah. And then he added a Rahman. So how come Muhammad never heard of Allah, of a Rahman before? Hmm, video. All the garbage of Muhammad is in my pocket. This is why we open our Skype. Where is the Mimi and the Fifi and the Susu and the Tutu and the Dudu and the Mimi and Kukukwa, Tapata, Tutitia? Where are they? Why you don't call me? Why are they? Do you want me to debate Christian Prince? Cowards. You don't dare. You don't dare. You got terrified. Even when this kid Mimi, he wanted to debate, he got seven people there. Including Fifi there behind the computer. They edit in my to my videos and they cut the video and because they don't they don't they can't debate me. They cannot. Your God Allah cannot debate me. Allah. Do we have any Muslim wanna get me busted before I go and speak to the beautiful family who left Islam and we pray that the wife she is listening now she will leave this cult. And actually, the, 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 the strange is that this lady, she said to me, and she is listening, I, I think, 
uh, that everything you say about Islam, I check it and I check out. So it's true. But still, I'm afraid of hellfire. Okay, how everything I said about Islam is true, and you are afraid of hellfire. If you are afraid of hellfire, you should leave. Because obviously, this is not from God. Look at this verse as an example. <laughs> Allah saying that we spread the Quran into pieces. Why is that? It is the Quran, which we have divided into parts from time to time. What is that? What, 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 what is that? In order to you, my, in order for you uh, to recite it, what does have to do with from time to time? He cannot recite it if you give it to him. All? Aren't you God? If God say to Muhammad, recite all the Quran, Muhammad recite the Quran. Actually, already he said, he told him, read it three times in the cave of Hara, and Muhammad still he cannot read. And Muhammad is saying to him, I cannot read. So Allah, he sent the Quran to Muhammad in three parts. Or sorry, in parts. What is Like a drop. There's a video of Nanan Khan, he says to you, Quran happened to be like this, like we have 100 bowl, or let's say 113, 14 bowl of, uh, made of a glass, and then Allah, he put in everyone like a drop of Quran. How this can be true? And this is why you will find that the verses have nothing to do with each other. What this verse here have to do with Israel here? You tell me. What the verse the Quran came in part have to do with Israel and then have to do with with, uh, 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 with the flood of Noah. What does this have to do with this? There's no connection. Everyone knows that Muhammad is suffering from flight of thoughts. And look, at the end of the chapter, I mean, the chapter is about Musa's and then about sending the Quran. And the last verse, praise be to Allah, who have no children. What does this have to do with the topic? Imagine now I finish my statement after two hours talking to you. I say, thanks to Allah, he have no kids. What does this have to do with this? Shouldn't you present for us first to tell us why we arrived to this point? What the name of Allah is Ar-Rahman having to do with Allah have no kids? You know, this is uh, actually uh, remind me of uh, uh, of a debate. <clears throat> oh boy! Oh boy! Uh. I forgot where, where, where I put it. It's funny. You know, the song of uh, Anthony Roger. Pff. He asked him, so why you Muslims, you fight over the spit of the prophet? The answer is, so, I, so, so if I spit, so if I spit, you know, spit, if I spit, if anyone know the video, uh, pause the video so we can uh, play it. I downloaded it, but I don't know where I have it. So, so if, if so, if I spit now, I'm God. So I spit. This is not the question, and this is Muhammad again. The question is not about if you spit or not. The question is why you are collecting his spit and why you know why you wipe it over your face. It's not because if, if you spit, you are God. 
all of them they are suffering from the flight of thoughts all of them if you read the first chapter in the Quran Al-Fatiha you will find that Al-Fatiha is not only stupid it's the flag of stupidity look at this in the name of Allah the most gracious most merciful okay who is Allah then if Allah is talking why Allah is saying in the name of Allah imagine I start speaking to you says Christians, brothers and sisters, in the name of a Christian prince. Like, brother, you are a Christian prince. Doesn't matter. In the name of Christian prince. But, brother, you cannot say that. You are the one is talking. You know, you cannot say in the name of Christian prince if you are the one is talking. My friend, this is wisdom, brother. In the name of Allah. But you are Allah. And then Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. Allah says, praise be to Allah. <coughs> Hello? No screen? Oh, sorry, this is my fault. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. They really did not squeeze me to tell me about it. So, Allah, he says in the beginning of the chapter, in the name of Allah, but you are Allah. Muhammad always, when he make Quran, fabricate, he forget to switch from the third person. If he say, like, a pray like this, I would understand. If I say, if he say, say like this, I would understand. But no. In the name of Allah, who is the one talking is Allah. Most gracious, most merciful. Allah is praising himself, talking about himself. Praise be to Allah again. The Lord of the two worlds. Most gracious, most merciful. But you just said that. You just said here, most gracious, most merciful. Why you are saying it again? What's wrong with you? Let us see. Maybe, maybe we have a Muslim. <coughs> Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Hello, uh, you were saying something about, uh, uh, like, uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I guess. What? Surah Fatiha. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, it's uh, it is because it is directed towards uh, the Muslims that uh, you you should praise Allah whenever you start anything okay. in the name of Allah. Like no, uh, no starting verb, you my, should explain my, it my, in my the friend, name of Allah. My friend, what's your name? Uh, sure. uh, I cannot tell it. Sorry. Okay, can you give me a name? Just call you Ahmad, call you Muhammad. What call you? Give me a name so I can we can talk to you. Okay. Okay. Call you what? Choose a name. Ahmed, okay, Ahmed, listen. If I just said, if the chapter saying pray like this, it makes sense. If the chapter says say like this, it makes sense. But do you see anywhere in the beginning it says pray like this? Like when when the when the disciples they asked Jesus how to pray, he said to them, pray like this. Say, say our Father out of heaven. So they asked him. He said, say like this. Pray our Father. Out of heaven. Now, where in the chapter it says pray like this? Go ahead. But we Muslims believe believe this because this, this is word from God. God my, itself. My friend, no problem, no problem. You see, I know, I understand you believe in it. You are a Muslim. The question is, where he said to you pray like this? This is Allah talking. Nowhere he says pray like this. Did he, where he said to you, this is your prayer to pray every day. Do you see it? Nowhere. Where he said to you, this is the prayer, the mini prayer you are going to pray every day. Nowhere. Where he says to you, recite like this. Nowhere. So why Allah saying the most gracious, most merciful? Same question. Ask what me. would be the purpose of uh, saying this in the name of Allah if it, it is not a word from God? If it is a word from God? That's Muhammad, wonderful, why guys. Do he do that? That's wonderful. Why he say in the name of Allah if it's not from Allah? My friend, we have many cults. They come and say in the name of God, but they are, you know, if a Hindu he says to you in the name of Allah, is that make him not a Hindu no more or he's a Hindu? What if the Hindu they change their God name and they call him Allah? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me make it more simple for you. You, you are a Muslim Sunni, right? Okay. You are a Muslim Sunni. Yeah. Okay. 
The Baha'iyya, they use the word Allah as a name of their God. Are they Muslims? The Bahi. Uh, no. no. Uh, you just agreed that somebody might use the name of Allah, yet still he is not from Allah. And the same for Muhammad. So what the proof that Muhammad is coming from this God, you call him Allah, just because he said in the name of Allah? Yeah, I think Arabic Christians use the name of Allah. This is false translation, my friend. Allah has nothing to do with our Bible, because for us, uh, uh, Christian, we don't have Arabic Bible. We have a translation of Arabic Bible. So this is a false translation. The Bible never mentioned the word Allah. The question is, you just answered yourself. If I ask you, is the Ahmadiyya, are they Muslims? The Ahmadiyya, for you. Okay. Is, is the Ahmadiyya Muslim for you? No. Okay, but they, okay, but they use the word Allah. So see, so using the word Allah does not make them Muslim too. So now you are answering yourself. Now we go back to zero. Why Muhammad saying in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, in the first verse, and then in the second verse, it says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Which, what is the name of your God? What is the name of your God? Uh, the God's name is Allah. No, read carefully with me. That's false. Verse number two, have different name for your God. Look, the first one, it says Allah. Yeah, the second I, one... Huh? There are many different names, 99 different names. No, 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 this is not, the, this is the same name now. This is not different name. This is the same one. Here it says Allah. Look on the screen. Here it says Li Lah. Alhamdulillah. I cannot check the screen. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Verse number two. Verse number two. Verse number two. two. Chapter of Al Fatiha. Verse number two. Alhamdulillah. Who is Lah? Yeah, okay, who is La? The first one is Allah. We got that one. Bismillah rahman rahim The second one, it doesn't say Allah. It says Li La. Li in, li in Arabic mean two. In Arabic, Li mean two. Okay. Yes. Li La. Who is La? Who is the God La? You are saying thank you to him. Yeah, alhamdulillah, you just say it yourself. Li, la, who is la? Li, mean, in Arabic, li is a, is a, is a letter to, to say I, two, two. I don't know much, I don't know much thing, but uh, that means all praises to Allah. This is not a question. You see, alhamdulillah, you are praying to a God, his name is la. Where is Allah? Allah is gone. Your God name is La, is not Allah. Read it. You just said, read, you say it again. Alhamdulillah, Li La. Okay, so Li La. But what does this comply? The, comply that the name of your God is not Allah. Allah is not the name. Allah is two words. Let me put it for you in the screen. Hold on. Allah is is two words, not one word. So we type here. Al Al Yeah La Al is a word meaning God Al is an old Aramaic Hebrew language where the word Al present God so God La God La this is the name of your God Al Al mean God La is the name of your God so when we say Allah, that's not the name. That's two words. The first word is God. The second word is La. So your real God name is, is La. This is why verse number two, it says, Alhamdulillah. Thanks to La. Alhamdulillah. Here we go. Li, la. Do you see it? But what does this comply? That's comply that your God and his name is La, and La is the moon God. Thank you very much. You can search it right now. You say you find that La is the moon God. Go right now, search on Google, if you don't believe me. La is the moon God. Yeah, I, I will search it. Okay. So what do you think about this discovery? For the first time, you learn about the name of your God, He and God. Our friend here, but you have a future. I think you will leave Islam soon. 
This is the fact Muslims are, they don't know their God. They think his name is Allah. His name is not Allah. Allah is two words. Al is word mean God. You can go in the Old Testament, the Old Hebrew, where Israel was not Israel, was Israel. Ishmael was Ishmael. Mikael was Mikael. What Mikael mean? What may Ishmael mean? What Israel mean? The word il at the end present God, the word God. So the word il used to be al in the old Hebrew. Al. Today in Arabic, the word al used as the, like the. But this is not the case here. And this is why you see in the verse number two, the first two letters, which is al, disappear. Why? Because, you know, he is using the word rub already. The word rub here is exist. Alhamdulillahi rabbul alameen. Rub mean God. So there is no need for him to add the word al before it because he added at the end. This is the word rub. Rub coming from the Hebrew too and the Aramaic rabbi, rabbi. Rabu, you know, so this is rub. So here we see the true name of Allah, Lah. Here we see two words connected to each other, pronounced as Allah. In fact, they are Al Lah. Everyone knows it's not a secret. I mean, for sure, depending on your education. I mean, everyone knows. I mean, anyone who have a deep understanding and study. And he do really hard work research in in you that L is a word meaning God. Daniel, Daniel, this is still from the same old name, Daniel. All those names used to be end with L, not Il. Il is an is a, in the New Hebrew, and you will notice the the fingerprint of the Hebrew and the in the Old Testament. In the book of Muhammad all over. Muhammad, he called his angel, the one who come to him, Mikael. If you ask Muhammad what Mikael means, he don't know. Why? Because he's a thief. He don't know what the name means. It's not a name, actually. It's a sentence. It's a phrase. Same as Ishmael. Same as Israel. Not a single Muslim knew what those words mean. For this is a theft cult. Including the name of their God, they don't know. We have a Muslim here, his, his name is Muslim Man Jawab. Are you Indonesian, my friend? Muslim Man Jawab, why you don't call me and give me the Jawab? Jawab, even here, look at the Muslims. Muslim live in Indonesia, they use Arabic word, they don't know what they mean, Jawab. Jawab mean answer. Why you are using an Arabic word? Because you became the slave of the Arab. We went there to Indonesia and we enslaved you. So now your name is from our names. Your clothes is like our clothes. You eat as we eat. You pray as we pray. And now the Arab, they became your masters. And this is the whole purpose of this cult. That the Arab will take over and they will subdue other nations. Muhammad, he said clearly that you are the best nation for mankind. How you are the best nation for mankind? You go after nations and you bring them with the chains around their neck. Is that true? Read it, my friend. You are the best nation sent for mankind. How we are the best nation sent for mankind? You are the best for people ever raised up for mankind. Supremacist cult. Racist cult. Believe they are a race. And they are the best. And best in what? Best in going and killing and slaughtering and the one who sub subdued to them, they will bring him and put the chain around their neck. Read it. That is Islam. Yeah, you see, uh, 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 Fabry is asking a question here. You see, if Allah... If Allah is a name, you don't take that, you don't take any part of the name. So when a Muslim he say Alhamdu, if Allah is the name, you don't say Alhamdu li la, you say Alhamdu li Allah. 
correct? But because it's not part of the name, you can take it off. It's not the name. You know what I mean? It's like adding uh, uh, the word Mr. in the front of the name. You can't take the word Mr. So the word A-L is a word meaning God. All right, you guys, I, you know, the, 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 the gentleman who is going to talk to him and his wife, uh, uh, you know, they cannot wait long. So I, I apologize. I cannot really stay longer. I want to say thank you for being here and pray for this, uh, 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 you know, uh, family to see the light of Christ and the wife to accept the Lord, the Savior. Uh, I have only, you know, 15 minutes to talk to them. And I pray that this lady, she will accept the Messiah as her Savior. So all the family will be saved. They will live a beautiful life. And I say to her from now, it's for your benefit, actually. Look, look how many benefits you will get the second you accept the Christ. Your husband, he cannot go and cheat on you. He cannot marry second and third and fourth wife. So this is the first payment the Messiah will give you. He will make your husband a different man. Faithful, lawful. Grateful for having you. He cannot go and have second wife. Right now, you want him to be Muslim back? Right now, he can go and bring second and third and fourth, and you cannot open your mouth. He can go open the door, bring three women to the house, and you cannot even mention it. And if you mention it, he can beat you. So, I say to her before we start talking in private, you should be thankful for the Lord, for your husband now is a Christian already. And he will never dare to break the command of the Lord and bring you third and second and fourth wife. Or he'll go around, sleep around. For if you do so, he'll go to hell. Thank you, everybody, for being here. May the Lord bless you. Please feel free to download my videos, share it with your friends, and your prayer for this Christian family and the Muslim wife to accept Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon. Take care.